The water looks very inviting and is a refreshing way to cool off. But don't be surprised if there's something extra in the surf. We put the sea lice warning signs out because we had just a few scattered complaints of people uh, itching when they came out of the water. It's not very bad yet, but this is the time of the year. Sea lice arrives at this time every year. Some think it's caused by jellyfish larvae, but whatever it is, it gets in between your suit and skin and can cause an itchy rash. I was out in the water today. Um, I've had sea lice in the past, but I didn't feel anything today. Uh, normally it's pretty itchy. Although not a lot is known about what brings them in, lifeguards observe. Sea lice, it seems to run in cycles. And really, in the late 1990s and the early 2000s, it was at its most severe point from year to year. We would have some serious outbreaks where people would, a great number of people would be seriously affected by them. The good news is not a lot has been reported yet, but... It's going to be any day that, that we start getting. My, my wife, got she got lit up the other day. She came home. Um, yeah, she was like covered and, and you get them where your suit is, you know, and that's the nasty part about sea lice. Lifeguards advise when coming to the beach. We like them to put on the thicker the sunscreen, the better. It seems to act as a barrier device. And then once they do get sea lice, we recommend they not take a freshwater shower because that seems to aggravate the situation. And some anti-itch cream should help too. The sea lice season usually runs from Mother's Day through Father's Day or even up to the 4th of July. Reporting from Juneau Beach, James Whelan, WPTV, News Channel 5.